Factory. So first up, Ethereum whales on the rise. I got to tell you, I love these types of articles because it reaffirms what I believe, and that is that Ethereum is going to be massive. It's a $10,000 coin. It just needs a little bit more time and a little bit more uh, laying of the infrastructure, and hopefully E2.0 can get here to reach that goal. And it's not just me looking at that. It's a bunch of whales. So what's going on here? Updated statistics from Santiment, which is an on-chain social analytic cryptocurrency site, confirms that ETH whales are pumping into the crypto market like never before. The dip in ETH prices have surprisingly not disrupted the number of whales that have now doubled over the last few days. If you don't know Santiment, uh, Santiment, you can sign up for a uh, like a premium account. I got a free account, and it just it, they send you like some really good data, some analytics, and one of those talked about whales. And this was the PDF that they sent out. It was fascinating because it was this is like just last week. We did a whole video on this one. But just to give you the highlights, it talks about how whales dominate, uh, not just in the mining sector, but whales dominate for Bitcoin and altcoins together. And they lay it all out as far as data and analytics. So 85% of the total supply of Bitcoin is found in addresses owning more than 10 Bitcoin, 113 1500 at current prices so i don't know if you're one of those uh, whales but uh you know uh, congratulations to you if you are 61 percent of bitcoin total supply is in the hands of bitcoin millionaires which is people who own a hundred or more bitcoin wow and then top altcoins are no different 80 percent of eth is held by addresses with more than a thousand eth in its possession Chainlink is the worst one at 94 well almost the worst one 94.6 percent held by addresses with more than 10,000 link and XRP is uh, number one spot, 95.4% held by addresses with more than 10 million XRP or 2.6 million at current prices. So if you're going to talk about whales and how you know your project is decentralized, think again. What else we got? So two more things. Bitcoin whale holdings have declined, which is a positive effect by a similar margin during this time. They're talking about 2015, 2020. And supply owned by addresses with less than 10 Bitcoin has grown from 6% to 14% since August 2015. And that's good news. And I've always thought that whales will whales will come and go, but they will dissipate because whales will eventually have to sell and they'll go into hands like me and you and we have strong hands and we will hold on to that until you know our price point gets uh, actually taken. So that's why it's good that you're here on the channel and you're learning about just having a strong hand, holding it, being an investor, not a uh, you know crazy trader with 100x leverage or something crazy like that. If you're into that, hey, cool, whatever. But uh, I'm just telling you right now, uh, I'm just an investor, and uh, maybe you are as well. And lastly, this is what it all comes down to. They they had a strategy that they tried to do, and their strategy was, was based on whales and how they would try to defeat them. So their strategy was fetch all addresses holding 100 plus Bitcoin, review their trend over the last 35 days, and then if there's an upward trend, get out of there. Accumulation, downward trend distribution. If the trend slope was greater than 0.5, they would buy or hold. If the trend slope was less than 0.5, they would sell or keep cash. And here was the outcome. So the whale strategy returned 46%. So all that data and all the analytics, that's what they got. But if they just hold, held on to it and did absolutely nothing, they went up 61%. So again, you don't have to trade to make money. Let me say that again. You do not have to trade to make money. Just be an investor sit back throw away your ledger in a you know not only cold storage but in a, in a uh, safe and just don't touch it for a year or two and uh, guess what happens usually things do pretty well now not in every year but if you just wait a little bit longer things will be good that's what i'm trying to do seems to work out okay all right so that's what's going on with the other sentiment this is what's going on with the current edition so over 50 new whales have entered the market 50 Currently, there is no specific amount of the total number, which is increasing by the second. Approximately 70 whales have been welcomed into the ETH market within a space of three days. These, these whales are known for holding and investing large amounts. All incoming whales are holding a thousand. It says here a thousand dollars to ten thousand Ethereum. I was like, wait, am I a whale? Ah oh, man, this is awesome. I'm a whale. Didn't even know it. Because when it's because it says a thousand, ten thousand, I was like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. So I took a look at the actual tweet. And it's not a thousand to ten thousand dollars. They just got a little bit ahead of themselves. And it says uh, roughly sixty-eight new whales holding one thousand to ten thousand Ethereum have joined the network. So not a dollar amount, but a thousand Ethereum. So that's a lot of. It's like it's over four hundred thousand dollars. We'll say that. Well, actually, no, it's about three hundred fifty thousand because it's a thousand. So uh, off you go. The big thing is this: 
and this is what's what's important to look at. What is smart money doing? Because if you have, I don't know, half a million dollars to just throw around, you're not going to just be stupid with your money. I mean, not I mean, not every whale is a smart whale. I mean, let's be honest. There's there's always the uh, idiot in the crowd. But if you got a lot of people coming in there, a lot of smart money coming in, it's a good chance that you are in the right category and headed in the right direction, potentially. Let me know what you think in the comment section. That's just how I see it. Anyhow, lastly, it states, uh, most investors have repeatedly advised that a bear market is the best time to invest in crypto like Bitcoin and Ethereum, mainly because a bull run is always expected to precede a bear market, although it sometimes takes longer than expected. So that's interesting. I mean, bear, bull market, bear, bull market. It's tough to look at the prices like right now and go, you know what? This is a fantastic time to get in because everything's down. But we, you, if you're new to this, this is how I see it. When I look at these red, I'm like, man, look at all these sales. This is crazy. Like, you know, Chainlink is down a uh, one percent. Polkadot two percent. That's it's insane. Thirteen percent down for Bitcoin. It's just like going to an auction or any kind of flea market. You're like, wow, it's so cheap. Why don't I just pick that up? Because it's still a good product. Nothing really changed. The fundamentals didn't change. Bitcoin didn't change. Bitcoin didn't get hacked. Ethereum didn't get hacked. XRP, Chainlink. I mean. They're all the same thing. They're all the same project. It's just that, you know, we can get a little bit uh, shaky. So guess what? I'm going to pick those up. And that's the way to look at things. That's just how I see it. Anyhow. And lastly, it says, meanwhile, for the day-to-day -day trader, ETH's trading price isn't the most encouraging and profitable. So again, uh, you do not have to uh, be a trader. If you want to trade on the side, that's cool. I mean, go ahead and trade. Have fun. I mean, that's what a lot of people do. I just don't have time for that. And I just want to put my money in and then wait. And then that's it. I mean... It's the same thing I do with land. I purchase land. I don't really look at it. I don't look at it from you know day to day. I look at it every, you know six months to two years out and just see what the price is. And when the price goes up, I'm like, hey, good deal. All I had to do was just sit on it and do nothing. That's it. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.